Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Telcom has improved its performance in the last financial year. Natasha Wendell gives us the details. Hi, Natasha. Hi. How did the group perform in the last financial year? Well, they seem to be improving year on year now. Um, they've actually declared a dividend of 422 cents, which is up over 50% on last year. Their um, headline earnings have also increased. I think it was 12%. Um, although their EBITDA had remained flat this year. Um, it just seems that this year the group isn't as weighed down as what it previously was by early retirement packages and seven packages, which were voluntary as part of the restructure that it underwent. Um, it seems to actually be emerging from that depth now. Um, their operating ever revenue was also up by about 9%. Its net revenue was up by about 8%. So things are looking a little bit better at Telcom at the moment. How has the group's restructuring benefited its financials? It, it's the company itself now, after four years of restructuring, is looking much leaner. It's, it's tightened its costs, it's gotten rid of its non-core assets, um, it's, it's starting to improve on its operational aspects as well. And significantly, its mobile business is actually doing well now. For the first time, it has um, posted an EBITDA profit, whereas over the past four years, it's always been at a loss, and significantly, um, four years ago, it was 1.8 billion rand loss. Now it's come up to 660 million um, EBITDA profit for the year for the mobile business, which is a significant step forward. It just shows that they seem to be doing something right with their mobile business. Right? And also, it just does seem that the company itself is now catching up to the latest trends in the industry as well. I mean. Four years ago, it did say the reason that it ended up in such dire straits was the fact that it was late in adjusting, late in you know adapting. It didn't keep up with the latest trends. It didn't shake its comp uh, shake its operating model up like most companies were doing at that stage. So that had obviously had a big impact, and now they are catching up. They seem to have come out of this a lot stronger. What is the group's current structure? Well. The aggressive restructure that it's undergone, I mean, other than obviously the other benefits that it's, it's been through, it's now ended up with a, if you call it a fit for purpose operating model. The, I think the, the idea behind it is that the five units now that are under telecom will eventually become self sustaining. They will have to develop their own growth strategies. The, the plan is just to make them all sustainable. Um, and not reliant on each other in any way at all. Um, so, for example, with Telcom itself, um, which is the consumer side of the business, they will have to come up with their own growth strategies. They, will, they need to focus on the mobile business. They need to focus on growing data because it's all about data these days. They would have to focus on broadband growth and content and so forth. And then we're looking at a separate structure, which is BCX. I mean, BCX is now fully integrated into Telcom. Um, and then had obviously Telcom had um, taken its enterprise unit and integrated that into BCX and now has made a business to business unit. Now this unit itself is going to focus on cloud computing, uh, unified communications, anything really to do with offerings to business that that may need. And then we're just looking f um, forward now as well to OpenServe. OpenServe is their op wholesale open access play. The whole guys behind OpenServe is to modernize the network, commercialize the network, and you know transform service delivery. And then in, separate, in another separate unit, we'll have Trudon, which is 65% owned by Telcom. This unit is going to focus on e-commerce um, in particular, um, maybe opening, you know, um, establish an e-commerce marketplace and target that market. Uh, Trudon is also now in recovery as well because last year it didn't do so well, but now as Telcom sitting and focusing on it, um, this could offer opportunities for Telcom itself. And then in another move, Telcom has actually taken all of its, um, pro oh, its property portfolio and it's, uh, it's put it into a unit now called Gyro. Now this um, unit will manage all of its properties, including the masts and networks that it has. Um, its towers, its offices, you name it, all the properties that Telcom has, this little unit will be managing it for Telcom. So that's pretty much the structure that Telcom's now come up with, or ended up with, 
and uh, just, yeah, we'll just see where it goes from there. Thank you. That's the second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.